Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert, and I want to show you how to create the riser sound you hear in a lot of EDM, a lot of pop stuff, and it's possible to do it without any other stuff than the stuff that comes with Studio One. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, so I've got a drum part going already here, you can see this. And sometimes I've done the bass rise one before, but I'm going to show you how to do the noise rise at this time. So the way we do it is pretty straightforward. We create a new channel just by dragging in the tone generator on a, on a spare channel here. And now we've got a channel with the tone generator on. I'm just going to make that a different color so we can make we can we can identify it quite quick. So that's the green one there. We'll call that tone. In fact, we'll call it rise riser. And at the moment, the tone generator is switched off. You'll see it here saying off. Let's just bring that into the into the screen a bit further. And when we turn it on, we can get different tones. So there's a sine wave. But the two other tones that are in here that people aren't aware of sometimes is this white noise, which is that sound, and this pink noise, which is this sound. The pink noise has more lower end in it, and white noise is much more sparkly. So we're going to go for that sound. I'm going to turn it off for a second. Now onto that channel as well, I am going to pick up a copy of the Pro EQ and bring that in. Because the way we achieve this is we start the sound here, we'll turn it on again, and then we use a filter to filter it out. And so we turn on the high cut filter, sometimes called a low pass, and if you turn it all the way down you can hear that that's actually, they've actually turned it all off. If we take it to 24 dB per octave. You can hear that's changing that. So how do we then achieve it? Well, the minute you grab any knob in Studio One and come to this corner here, you'll see that it says high cut frequency. If we grab the hand there and drag it onto this riser channel where the noise generator is, we now see that we've got an automation lane appearing here in yellow. And what we can do is we simply need to draw in over a period of time that rising. So if we turn that up to there, and we now play this from the beginning of the track. And of course that would be slower or faster depending on how you want it. Now if you pull it out a bit further, if we just pull this in so that that's actually snapped to there, when it ends now it will sort of have a slight decay on it. So that's the first part. Now, as I say, if we wanted to, we could go back to Tone Generator and we could try it with the, the pink noise generator. Let's turn it up a bit further as well, get a bit more out, out of it, and let's play it again. Now, the next thing I do to give it a bit more energy is I then come in and I get the analog delay and drag that in as well. And we put a bit of width on it for nice width, and we add a bit more feedback to it for the standard preset. Now, listen to that now. That will give us some energy behind the rise. And depending on how far the feedback goes, you can you can change that yourself. So that's how you achieve the riser effect. Now, the next question you're probably asking is, what if you want to commit it to audio? Well, because there's no instrument on there and no audio in the track you can't commit it in a standard way. What you need to do to commit it is that we need to choose an area on the timeline, press the P key to mark that area. I'm gonna mark those two areas so we've got the decay as well. And then I go to Song, Export Stems, and I choose just the riser here. Make sure I'm on my right settings. Wave file, 24 bit, 44 hertz. We'll call it file name prefix riser and we want to import it to a track and we close after export. So those are my settings, press OK. And there we are, we now have it as audio in our channel. So if we just mute this now, we've got a copy of it here in glorious kind of gooey green. So that's it, that's how you create a noise riser, either using white noise or pink noise in Studio One. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.